Taurus, hi, I'm doing yellow reading now. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Taurus. If you are new to the channel, welcome and thanks for stopping by. If you are returning, welcome back and um, thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate you. Um, these are timers in general of tarot readings, so please only take what resonates, Taurus. Let's see what's happening for you. I am going to pull these two to start with. Please, Spirit, show me. Sun and the Rising Taurus, which messages are applying to Taurus here? Perfect match. And I am in love with you. I love this. Taurus, this person feels that you have been made for each other. They are so in love with you. Perfect match. And I am in love with you. Well, let's find out a bit more about this person, this situation. Taurus. Perfect match. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. So I feel there is a lot of clarity here with this Ace of Swords. Um, this person's been, you know, it feels like <laughs> this is the, this, the way they have been feeling about you, Ten of Cups in the past. Um, it, it's absolutely really matching this like they have felt always happy um emotionally fulfilled it felt like this connection this situation ticks all the boxes um and the seven of pentacles and this ace of swords to me is this moment when this person's like okay i feel that this is it now i just need to make sure that whatever i'm doing it's continuously going to bring me um, the same effect like that I am doing the right thing in this connection someone really wants to do the right thing here they have a clarity that this is it you know ace of swords and king of pentacles you know this is such a solid energy um, king of pentacles um, I see this person as a perfect husband, wife, someone who's got stable income, who is good with their money, who um, in, sort of invests in this connection, in family. If there is a family, Ten of Cups here, it doesn't have to be. This simply can mean that the person that you're asking about has, has felt, um, has from the beginning felt with you very happy emotionally fulfilled and they they had that clarity as well i mean the ace of swords it's it's the overall energy it applies to all these three the past present and future so they have known for a while that you know they they are just happy with you or you are happy with someone there King of Pentacles, this is, um, I'm kind of getting it, uh, getting an energy of, of some sort of commitment. We have Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Someone's deciding here, Two of Wands. Queen of Cups. Ten of Swords. The end of what? The end of being single. It's, it's sort of taking things to the, the end of illusion, the end of confusion. Okay. I'm taking a leap of faith here.
I'm getting with the King of Pentacles that there is this, um, you know, with the stability of King of Pentacles comes some sort of, you know, structure and perhaps an offer. I can't see any offer here. There's definitely someone who's making a decision about um, kind of like moving out of this Nine of Pentacles um, way of being and way of thinking. Nine of Pentacles, it's a single person card. Perhaps you two are not living together. You are not sharing your life together. Um, and this person is sort of, then I clarified this this Queen of Cups. I wanted to know if this is a person or if this is just an emotion. And it, it's Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups and the Fool. For me, this is the end of illusion, the end of um, choices, the end of confusion and taking a leap of faith on something. And I really feel that this is, it's as if this person is getting ready to, to bring you some sort of offer to take it to the next level. Because there is, I'm in love with you, and we know that for a while this person have felt very happy, emotionally fulfilled here, with the Ten of Cups. And the Ace of Swords is this clarity, it's this aha moment. You know, Ace of Swords also communication, so that's why I'm getting, for some of you in the near future with this King of Pentacles, there could be an offer coming to take it to the next level because this is words okay as well communication not only just mental clarity but in, in communication per se i can't see anything here so what i'm going to do i'm going to do another spread and we'll ask will this person uh will this person hmm good question let me think does this person want to take it to the next level? Or what will be this person's actions? Next actions. What will be this person's next action? Do they want to take it to the next level? Oh, Taurus. Perfect match. I mean, they do feel oneness with you in this situation. Look, they are thinking. Ooh, big time thinking. Four of Swords. The hanged man, we've got the king of wands here, beautiful, but what's this five of swords? There's some sort of um, verbal argument or having to fight for someone. If there is a competition, is there a competition? I mean, I feel this person's been thinking for a long time. This is definitely taking a little break to think about a situation. In the past, hangman having some sort of you know, enlightenment, um, aha moment, uh, allowing for for the universe, allowing for the divine to, you know, provide guidance in this situation, okay? I like the King of Wands because this is a very um, action-driven energy. This person wants to take action and they will. So, Aries, Leo, Sat, or Pisces. What is this person thinking about? Like, what are they... <laughs> this is what they are thinking about. About the connection between you, about how they feel about you, about they, how they feel about the situation, how happy they feel, emotionally fulfilled. What is this Five of Swords? Two of Swords. There's something... What is that? What is it that they don't see and they don't want to acknowledge? King of Swords. An Ace of Swords. A lot of mental energy. What is that? I feel this person thinks way too much. And it's just going to... This is... I really feel, I feel that there is just way too much of that um, sword energy. This person doesn't want to acknowledge that, you know, the King of Swords and Eight of Swords, to me this is just going on and on 
about something in their head and actually this thinking makes this person feel stuck like this person's like okay they are just analyzing things way too much there is a huge emphasis here in this in this spread um what i am getting this person is really getting is it's taking this seriously this connection and what's between you two taking it seriously in terms of taking it to the next level And it's like this this person is fighting with their own thoughts, literally, to get out of this. Um, what does this King of Wands? They want to do something. What is this? What do they want to do? Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and and holding back on something. This wanted to come out. Page of Swords and of holding back on some sort of. If you guys not living together, like if you are in a relationship but you you don't live together, you're not sharing your life. Um, this person may still be kind of checking on you, and I think this, they wanna they wanna let go of this. This person thinks way too much. Tell me more about the Four of Swords. What is this? What? What? what I, why are they thinking about the Ten of Cups here? Six of Swords. Moving to the Karma Waters. The only thing... Please show me more. Juggling. I think... What's, what are they juggling? What is this juggling about? Ten of Pentacles. I really feel this is about whether to make a decision because in the first spread we had Nine of Pentacles under that King of Pentacles. This person is seriously, on one end they're juggling, should we take it to the next level, move in together, have a family, make it exclusive or, um, or not. Literally, that's what it is here. And it is causing like a mental anguish in this person's life. And on top of that, they are kind of not, they are checking on you. And I feel they feel uncomfortable with this anymore. They are, they do have feelings. There is not many caps here. There's a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking. This is thinking. This is thinking for absorb. Taurus, I had to change my battery. Um, what I feel, this is either you, this could be your energy or the person that you're asking about. Um, someone is really serious about the disconnection and they think um, about taking it to the next level and the ten of pentacles it's making me feel this way because it's this um, stability home um, this is building legacy okay we have generational family here um, I feel this king of wands I feel they really don't want to hold back on this offer. It's like I don't want to, um, I don't want to keep checking on my Taurus. I don't want to hold back. I want to end holding back. I want to end this checking on them. I want to. This is what I'm getting here. But there's a lot of mental energy. Look, perfect match. They feel that you are, you belong together. This person has a lot of feelings for you. Uh, like I did say, I don't have caps here, which kind of makes me um, unhappy. <laughs> I mean, we've got only we've got ten of cups, and it appeared here twice, which is important. Um, what 
one last spread that's going to be a number three spread because I want to know and no clarifiers this time where is this going where is the situation going there is someone who feels happy in a connection with Taurus or they are feeling happy with someone but they just overthinking um, and overanalyzing and still sort of checking on the, the, the partner or their girlfriend boyfriend they are thinking way too much about taking it to the next level will what, what what's the best scenario for this connection where is this going for those people that resonate with number one and two readings where is this going for taurus sun moon and rising where is the situation going what's the potential where is this going I'm not doing any clarifies. I'm just going to rely on tarot. Okay. It's a strong bond. Um, karmic, a bit of an obsession here too. I feel the offer has been made in some shape or form here with the Page of Cups in the past. Um... Perhaps the other way around. I've got five of cups here. Perhaps your person, someone here is regretting not making that offer. Not making it um, clear. Something like that. With the devil, um, as I said, I'm not going to clarify it. I'm just going to read it based on what I've seen before. There is a little bit of fear, there's a little bit of sort of um, mainly fear uh, connected to the other two reads. I feel that there is a huge potential. This person is definitely very, very attracted to you, very strongly connected to you. This this chain, that's what um, here symbolizes this strong bond between you two. Um, Empress in the future, abundance, growth. I don't like the five of cups. There is regret about not doing something, not doing something in time, perhaps. But I don't want to clarify. Oh, I have to. Five of cups. What is that regret about? I just wanted to come out. Seven of swords. No, I can't leave that. I feel this is to do with that lurking and checking. Yeah, I feel that seriously. Um, this person regrets sort of... The Seven of Swords for me, it's this energy from the previous reading where we had that they, they there was a page of swords. They've been sort of checking on you still. Um, and they wanted to end that. I feel this person is essentially going to regret that they haven't ended this immature um, actions of checking on the girlfriend or boyfriend and basically focusing on, on building a strong connection, taking it to the next level, simply because I have the Empress here. So there is a potential, there is some sort of fear around, you know, either this person around this person that um, is the one that is thinking so much there is fear here <sighs> okay i said i'm not but there we go i had to know what that is i'm a tarot reader when I see a devil, I want to know. This is to do with your love connection, with the, the, the energy that's between you and them, that love, that um, this person is fearful that they shouldn't have done things earlier. It's something here about timing. There's something here regretting about the behavior of lurking and checking on social media of their boyfriend and girlfriend. 
Um, but this is really promising. I do feel there is a potential in the future for growth. And this is from, you know, it's either you want it with someone or this person wants this with you. Okay. Now, well, karmic relationship. Well, um, there is definitely a strong bond between you. That chain here on that devil, karmic relationship. What's the message here for just one or two? You are my destiny. A perfect match. I mean, each time you feel this, oh, this is how this person feels about you. This time we, when we feel something good, we, we straight away question this because um, of the reality. We know that things aren't that simple. And out of protection, we prefer to um, to always question things, which I understand. So that's why I feel that fear, that overthinking, mercury thoughts. I think communication, there's something here. Oh, beautiful, I love that. Seventh house in astrology deals with one-to-one -one relationships. And this oracle is called partnership. This is a strong indication that this is um this is this has a potential for you two to create a happy uh marriage happy relationship mercury thoughts i think communication mercury is a planet of communication thinking as well uh all that intellectual process yes but i'm getting um communication this there's a lot of thinking, but I'm not sure if there's enough communication. I'll put it this way. Last one, and we are going to this. this fondness. I keep getting that. Balance. Tender soft feelings exist between you two. Gently honor the energy. They are very, very much in love with you. Balance. This love is a fair, is fair and balanced, creating harmony for a strong future. Well, um, there is a huge potential here, Taurus. Perhaps better communication so that um, the fear doesn't take, you know, the, the lead. If you enjoyed this reading, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If this resonates, leave me a comment. I do read all your comments. So if this resonates, wonderful. I would love to hear from you. Um, Happy New Year. And I will speak to you soon. All the best, Doris. Goodbye for now.